By now, if you're an active MMORPG follower, impatiently waiting for the next great game, you've probably heard about Ashes of Creation, an upcoming massively multiplayer online role-playing game developed by Intrepid Studios, a new team of developers founded by creative director Steven Sharif that had a record-breaking Kickstarter back in 2016, which really got the momentum flowing for this new game. Ashes of Creation is at the top of the watch list for upcoming MMOs, and for good reason. It has the potential to change the entire genre, while at the same time, they aren't going out of their way to reinvent the wheel on every single system, or worse, making itself out to be another WoW clone. If you look at what is coming to Ashes of Creation, most of it is not new to the genre. Dynamic questing, a factionless PVX focus, caravans, naval content, castle sieges, they are all things that have been around for a long time. Maybe you don't see every one of these features in every single MMO, but they are out there in other games with their own iterations, and none of these systems alone would be something I consider groundbreaking when it comes to the genre. Yes, Intrepid will still add their own twists to these features while modern modernizing some of them and producing what we hope is the best possible version, but alone they are far from anything we haven't seen before. What ties all of these systems together though, adding an entirely new take on world building in MMORPGs does have the potential to be game changing, and this system is called Nodes. The idea of Nodes and the design behind it is really setting out to put the world building and story of the game in player hands, in a way where every server you step in has its own story and its own content locked behind that story while still giving you that theme park MMO feeling. Normally when games promise the players they can shape the world and the story, they turn out to be sandbox MMORPGs where they can craft and build throughout the world, teaming up to make their own cities and towns, build their own economies, and with this comes the sacrifice of NPC questing hubs, massive cities to explore, and an expansive story that really moves the game forward. And unfortunately, sandbox MMOs tend to have a much smaller player base than the theme park MMOs, which in turn creates a smaller number of active players, potentially leading to the game's failure. And while if someone was explaining Ashes to you, without you seeing visually how it's represented, you too could think this is just another survival sandbox game. But that couldn't be further from the truth. The game will still have its massive cities, towns, questing that progresses the story, and all of that good stuff that you normally find in a theme park MMO. And the only thing even close Close to having the freedom of the building you'd expect in a sandbox MMO is with freeholds allowing you to freely place them within designated plots and customize what you actually have on these freeholds. But there are still many restrictions behind these so players can't just stick them out wherever they want in the world. But these cities and all of that content I mentioned are locked behind the node system, and as players set out on their adventures and begin generating XP for themselves, they're also giving XP to the node that they're gathering in. What was once a large forest can then bloom into a small XP expedition, eventually growing to a size of a small city or a massive metropolis, and behind these cities come the content of the game, unlocking dungeons and raids, triggering story arcs, constantly changing up the content that you can expect on each server. Which you want to enjoy while you can because if a node gets sieged and destroyed, then all of that content locked behind that one particular node is gone, making room for a whole new wave of activities. Nodes could be huge game changers for how MMOs are developed in the future. This massive system really does does put the world in the player's hands without the mess of a sandbox MMO. The way it's designed will keep the world always feeling new, always changing, keeping the player engaged and encouraging exploration to see what has changed. Nodes will also help bring back that social piece to MMORPGs that have seemed to have gone away in more recent years, where these days everyone wants to play solo instead of cooperating with strangers to meet a common goal. You can't do that in Ashes of Creation. You need other players for the economy to work, for caravans to make it safely across the world from node to node. You'll need to team up with players to complete certain story arcs and end everlasting winters that are plaguing the lands and wrecking the trade goods that you need for crafting. And you need players to continue working together to develop nodes, or if it comes down to it, defend them when a node siege is just on the horizon, which could have a massive impact on the server as you know it. Nodes also keep leveling fresh as there are no specific level zones within Ashes of Creation. The closer you are to that node city, the safer 
it is. And the further out you head into the wilderness, the more dangerous. But it'll still eventually bring you back to the node you call your home, which in turn should potentially help solve the issue a lot of MMOs have, which is the old world and lower level zones feeling abandoned after players hit max level. When you leave a node, you will see all sorts of players and levels on their own adventures as you pass them and head deeper into the wilderness. Nodes will also keep content new and interesting, which is another big problem with MMOs at times. Players progress faster than the devs can put out content, and with content being locked behind nodes, it should allow for players to find more new things to do while also taking more time for this content to be unlocked because you need to gather up players and resources for sieges, and it also takes a decent amount of time from nodes to level from stage to stage, unlocking more and more content. This in turn may buy the devs more time to cook up more DLC and expansions. Nodes can create all of these possibilities, which end up addressing a ton of major issues MMORPGs have had in the past and still today struggle to solve. All resolved by one very complicated system that has a hand in nearly every single system in the game. Nodes will change how people look at MMORPGs going forward. While it may not turn out to be perfect, it could still allow for future MMOs to learn from any mistake Intrepid makes to better the genre. Ashes of Creation's design choices are giving players a ton of hope that this game will be the next MMO that we've all been waiting for, bringing back all that seems to have been lost in the last 15 to 20 years, as developers have taken on a more single-player, money-hungry approach, giving us flop after flop. And because of this, Ashes of Creation has me very excited for the future of the MMORPG genre.